Hi, Anna here. Welcome to another video from Snobbots. Today's topic is quite interesting and scary at the same time. Watch till the end and definitely leave your comments and your thoughts on this topic. Picture this. It's 2025. Forget endless swiping, awkward coffee dates, and those text conversations that just fizzle. Instead, an advanced AI already knows your perfect match before you've even met. Is that a romantic dream or the beginning of a terrifying digital dystopia? Today, we're diving into the future of love, where algorithms, data, and artificial intelligence are reshaping the way humans connect. Romance has always evolved with technology. From handwritten love letters to phone calls, from the first online dating websites in the 1990s, to swipe-based apps that defined the 2010S and 2020S, each new wave has changed how people meet. But 2025 marks a turning point. Artificial intelligence isn't just recommending music, movies, or products anymore. It's predicting who you'll love, how happy you'll be together, and whether your relationship will last. This video will take you on a journey through how AI actually works in matchmaking, the hidden power of data and predictive modeling, the controversies and ethical dilemmas, real-life success stories, and most importantly, what this means for the future of human relationships. At the heart of AI matchmaking lies data, and not just any data. We're talking about personality tests, communication patterns, voice tone analysis, facial recognition, and even biometric signals like heart rate variability. Imagine this. Your AI matchmaking profile doesn't just say you love Italian food and hiking. It knows how quickly you get irritated in traffic, how often you laugh during a conversation, and what emotional triggers make you happiest. Companies in 2025 use AI to create what some call a digital twin, a psychological map of your behaviors, desires, and compatibility markers. This goes way beyond anything a dating questionnaire could ever capture. Traditional dating apps focus on immediate attraction, looks, hobbies, and witty bios. AI matchmaking in 2025 goes further. It predicts not just whether two people will click on the first date, but whether they'll stay together five years later. By studying conflict resolution patterns, communication habits, and even financial decision-making styles, AI can forecast long-term compatibility. Some systems even run relationship simulations, predicting how a couple might handle stress, career changes, or raising children. This predictive approach is why AI matchmaking is being called the biggest revolution in dating since the invention of online platforms. Already, success stories are flooding in. In Seoul, an AI system matched a couple who shared a rare genetic marker that made them both less prone to stress, something no human matchmaker would have ever considered. They're now married. In New York, a woman who had almost given up on dating found a partner through AI who shared her passion for climate activism and sustainable living. The algorithm connected them through shared values rather than surface-level attraction. Testimonials from early adopters are compelling. I would never have chosen him on a dating app, but the AI saw something deeper. It felt like the algorithm knew me better than I knew myself. These stories are fueling trust in the technology, but also raising eyebrows. Let's rewind. In the 2010S and 2020S, swipe-based dating apps dominated. Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, all built on gamified design. They offered access to thousands of people at your fingertips, but also led to dating fatigue. Studies revealed low long-term success rates and growing frustration. Ghosting, choice overload, and superficial matches became the norm. By 2025, people were ready for something deeper. AI matchmaking promised to cut through the noise and focus on genuine, lasting compatibility. Instead of swiping endlessly, users now rely on AI-curated matches often just one or two per month, but with much higher success rates. So how does it work behind the scenes? Machine learning models train on millions of successful and failed relationships, natural language processing, NLP, analyses your text messages, emails, or even social media to understand your communication style. Computer vision reads micro expressions in your photos and videos to detect personality cues. Wearables and biometric sensors Smartwatches and health trackers feed emotional and physical data into the system. 
Together, this creates a 360 degree picture of who you are and who you'd thrive with. Of course, when love meets data, privacy becomes a major issue. Would you really want an AI system analyzing your heart rate or scanning your late night texts just to suggest a partner? Critics argue that AI matchmaking requires invasive levels of surveillance, raising questions about consent, data storage, and manipulation. In 2025, regulators are already debating how much personal information these platforms should be allowed to use. Another concern is autonomy. If an AI tells you this is your perfect match, are you truly choosing, or are you simply following the machine's recommendation? Some fear we're outsourcing one of the most intimate human decisions to algorithms. Could this reduce love to a calculation, stripping away the spontaneity that makes romance exciting? No AI is free from bias. If the training data reflects cultural stereotypes, prejudices could seep into matchmaking. For instance, algorithms could unintentionally favor certain socioeconomic backgrounds or physical appearances. In response, some companies are now building bias audits into their systems to ensure diversity and fairness in matches. Here's another fascinating issue. Over-optimization. If AI predicts perfect compatibility, do relationships lose their natural challenges? Some psychologists warn that friction and compromise are essential to growth. By making matches too perfect, AI could create fragile relationships that collapse at the first sign of real conflict. Experts predict that AI matchmaking could lead to a surge in marriage rates by 2030, particularly among millennials and Gen Z, who are disillusioned with swipe apps. Interestingly, governments in countries with declining birth rates, like Japan and South Korea, are investing in AI matchmaking services to encourage stable family formation. Romantic comedies once revolved around fate, serendipity, and chance encounters. But in 2025, the new narrative might be, my AI knew before I did. Some worry this strips love of its mystery, while others argue it simply updates romance for the digital age. The adoption of AI matchmaking varies worldwide. In the West, it's often marketed as a personal choice. In Asia, some countries are integrating AI into state-backed matchmaking initiatives. In the Middle East, cultural norms are shaping how much control AI has in recommending matches. One of the biggest debates is whether AI will only match humans or eventually become our partners. In 2025, AI companions are already gaining popularity, blurring the line between human connection and digital intimacy. Beyond matchmaking, AI is evolving into relationship coaching. Some apps now offer real-time advice during conflicts, analyzing your tone in a text message and suggesting a kinder response before you hit send. As AI becomes more accurate, we face profound philosophical questions. Will the concept of soulmates become obsolete? Will parents one day use AI to select the best genetic and emotional match for their children? Or will humans push back, demanding that love remain messy, unpredictable and human? The future of love is at a crossroads. On one side, AI promises to eliminate loneliness, heartbreak and endless swiping fatigue. On the other, it risks turning romance into a mathematical formula. In 2025, we stand on the edge of a new era. Will AI matchmaking help us find deeper, truer connections? Or will it rewrite love itself into lines of code? The answer, as always, depends on how we choose to use the technology. If you found this exploration of AI matchmaking fascinating, hit that like button, subscribe for more future-focused videos, and tell us in the comments. Would you trust AI to find your soulmate? Or do you believe love should remain a mystery? I don't know about you, but I am interested in testing this theory on how well AI can find me a match. I might just put this to the test. I will keep you informed of the results. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. You never know. By then I may have found a suitable match through AI or maybe be dating an AI. Who knows? I think all these AI videos are messing with my head. Thank you.